artist. I do oil paintings. Um, all the artwork in my house I did. And I um, do very creative things. I sew. So, yeah, I never run out of things to do, that's for sure. Yeah, I had gotten into ballroom dancing in 1980, moved to Raleigh in 82, but my husband, Chuck, did not dance and didn't really want to, so I didn't do it for a while, and then one day he said, I know you really miss it, I know you miss it. There's a guy at work that teaches ballroom. He said, why don't you call him and get up with him, because I know you miss it. My, um, okay, at the senior center, before they built the new facility, they had a tap dance class, and so I took that, and that was the beginning of tap dancing. It was about 12 years ago, and then that teacher decided not to continue, and so, but I was hooked. I <laughs> wanted to tap. So I found a place in Raleigh to go to a studio and take tap. And that's when I met Bonnie and Judy that were here today. So then we stuck together all that time. And then that's how we met, um, that's also how we met Alyssa. And somehow, we can't figure out how tap came up, but when Bonnie mentioned tap, Alyssa's ears perked up and she said, where do you go to tap? She said, I've been dying to get back to tap. So I said, you know, we practice every Saturday on the carport if you want to join us, and she did. So between the four of us, we're not always all four here, but if we have two, three, four, we do it. Molly lives across the street, and one day she came to the door and handed me this little note, and I thought it was a Valentine card because it was in February. So I said, oh, thank you, Molly, and she said, I see you tap, can I come and take tap lessons with you? And so um, we invited her to join us, and uh, I believe she's eight now. She started last year, so she was seven, and had already had tap and ballet, so she picked it up fast. We practice even in the dead of winter, I mean, we just bundle up, and it's almost easier than the dead of summer, because we just about die out there. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, tap was late in life, but I love it. And they also say, if you can believe it, it's good for your bones. You know, the impact, which seems counterintuitive. It's good all around. It's good for your mental health because you have to think fast. I've been looking around the world. You got something for me. Good exercise, good fellowship, we've all become friends, we do stuff outside of 